So today I would like to show you this mask and how I make it. It's actually very, very, very simple. And it's basically a 3D mask or some people call it octagon mask. Um, and there are quite a few tutorials on YouTube which you can check. And most of them um, make their 3D max with casings, but I like to always add my own twist. So instead, instead of casings, I do taps like um, the previous max I've made because I like the flexibility that people can switch out their elastic just in case they break. Um, so, and by doing tabs instead of casings, I feel like you um, simplify the process a lot. So, this max is really simple to make, it's quite roomy, and it's very comfortable. So, I like to show you how I make it. I like to make my max using just one piece of fabric, just for simplicity. Um, and if you follow my previous video, I cut my fabric at 8 inches by 17 inches and if you already have your fabric cut at that size we can use the same dimension. So here is one piece of fabric cut at 8 inches and wide and 17 inches long. So the first step we we'll do, oh yeah, we're gonna create the filter pocket but today we'll do something different than we, we have done in the past. So the first step would be you want to roll the edge about a quarter inch like this and usually I just use my fingernail to press a line but I have since bought a little iron and it's so cute. It doesn't take that much space so I don't have to go to a different room you know because I'm too lazy. So. This is quite helpful. I got it from Joanne um, using a 60% off coupon. So it took about $20 off this thing. So I think I end up paying about $15 for it. So anyway, um, so with the edge, you wanna roll a quarter inch from the edge and just iron it to press it. iron is set at pretty low temperature so it's that's why I can directly just iron on this cutting board it's not gonna hurt it because it's not very hot so you do that and then you will roll it again another quarter inch and you press it just just enough and you see the crease and then we we'll go onto the sewing machine and you would just top stitch, just stitch it up along this edge about an, uh, one eighth of an inch so you have a nice hem. And we we'll do the same thing for this side. Okay, so I have one that's already been done. So you look like this. raw edge everything is nice and clean okay so the next step we're gonna be creating our pocket so this is gonna be the top where our nose is gonna be and here is where the chin is gonna be so we get a ruler we want to fold the top down about five inches let me see Five inches from the top, maybe a little less. five inches from the edge to the top and then roll up from the bottom three inches 
here. Two edges to overlap just a bit. So right now, um, the length, the width is about, let's see, from here, about seven and a quarter from this point to this point. Okay, and then you can clip this two layers to kind of secure this position. And then the next step, I got lost my pencil. Okay, it's right here. So next step, we measure an inch from this point, like an inch in and an inch here. So I'm gonna just use this cutting board as my guide. See an inch here, an inch here, and now connect it to that from here to here. So you draw a little corner like this. So you do the same thing for each corner, like inch. Okay, let's just do it really quick. our four corners so we're gonna be moving on to the sewing machine but what I'm gonna do is I'll just stitch along this line we just made so all the way till you stop like right here and we just continue this is about like 316 or a quarter inch seamstress <clears throat> seam allowance that's what I mean so you go from this point to here and stop and then go down until you hit this line and then turn the fabric and then stitch up all the way to the end and the same thing here on this side stitch and then stop right here for 316 seam allowance or a quarter doesn't really matter and go down along the edge stop here and then finish stitching along this line you just draw okay we move on to the sewing machine we're stitching right on top the line we just drew and then stop about here and then turn the fabric Make sure your needle's on the down position so you don't lose the position of the needle. And then we continue with the about 3 16 inches of seam allowance. Let's go down. Until your needle hit the line and the stop right there and turn the fabric and the stitch along this line and then we'll back stitch to finish up this side okay and cut it so can you, hopefully you can see this is how it looks like. Your side. Back stitch. And stop. Turn the fabric. And then continue all the way down.
until you hit that line again and then turn the fabric and then finish it up. Okay, let's move the machine over a little bit so you can see. And then with your scissor, you see all this extra fabric? We don't need that. So we just trim them away, but um, be careful you don't cut any of the line you just stitched. Just cut away all the corners. The third one. Last one. Alright, so that's how it looks like right now. We just stitch along the edge, the line we just drew and along the edge in here. And here is our filter pocket opening. So the next step will turn the mask right side out. And you will see the octagon shape. Hopefully you can see. Just make sure it's all nice. See this? Right here. So if you want, you can um, Use your iron to press it. Just press it really quick, just a little bit. Again, my iron is not too hot, that's why I'm just directly pressing it on my cutting board. Otherwise, I will put some felt right underneath. Okay, just a quick press. And the next step, we will top stitch you can skip this step it's not a very crucial step but um, I like to do that because it gives the mask more structure but we are only gonna be top stitch along just the top and bottom edge you don't have to go all the way around I'm just gonna top stitch with seam allowance one eighth of an inch like a line here and another line along the bottom Okay. side. Next step, we'll be creating the nose guard and chin guard. So we're gonna keep the um, pocket opening toward the chin. And um, so this is gonna be our nose side. This is gonna be our chin side. So from the top, we'll fold down about two inches. Just make sure if I can see. I need to stand up to do this. Okay. It's about two inches, and then you can clip it. Uh, 
bottom, just measure it again. On the bottom will fold up two inches as well. So the opening's right here. So see there's a little bit of space between the fold line and the pocket opening. Right there, and clip. Just take a look, just make sure it looks it's all squared up. Okay, so turn to the back again. So now we're gonna be cutting the twill tape to make our tabs. What I do is I cut about six inches of twill tape. If you don't have twill tape, you can use ribbon or um, bias tape, store-bought bias tape, or you make your own bias tape. Okay, about six inches. Put this away. And then you fold it in half. You cut it again. We'll make four tabs. You fold it in half. Okay, these are four tabs. So we'll be inserting our tabs at this four corner. So we fold it in half. I usually just eyeball about, let's see, this is about, not a quarter, so three eighths. So you have about three eighths of an inch of twill tape, like poking out and do the same thing for the bottom side an inch but I feel like it's a little too long um, okay so you move on to the machine after this you just stitch a line from the top to the bottom that would secure the tabs so about like a quarter inch seam allowance all the way from the top to the bottom. Did we insert this one on the bottom? Backstitch a little bit. Make sure it's secured. Let me see this. This is our guard. And then you just do the same with the other side. Four tabs secured in spot, and this is the back side. Up, we will be top stitch a line along the top edge, all the way, and the bottom along the bottom edge, all the way with a quarter inch seam allowance. And um, just make sure when you do that, do you see this filter pocket opening here? Don't do not stitch them shut along with the panels. Okay, just pay attention. It should be okay because we calculated, but just want to point it out. Okay, so one line here and one line here, a quarter inch seam allowance.
the front we just top stitch along the top and bottom edge about a quarter inch seam allowance and this is the back our filter pocket openings right here and believe it or not we're almost done at this point so the next step is probably the trickiest of this whole tutorial but it's even that it's not too bad okay so do you see this angle line we created earlier the next step will be folding this one up I'm gonna try to get close to the camera see this line right here we're gonna make it aligned with the stitch line we did earlier so like these so you turn you roll it a little bit so it's at an angle and line them up so you can stitch that we made earlier this bottom panel roll this so this line this edge line up with the stitch so it looks like this hopefully you can see better another line that's parallel with this stitch line we did earlier about 316 inches stitch line like from the top to bottom to secure this panel and then you do the same for the other side okay So we do the other side now. how it looks like opening for the pocket I mean filter pocket we're basically done for the mask isn't that simple Okay, and then we move on to the final step to thread um, the elastic. I'm using the same elastic that I used in my previous video. It's a little elastic rope. It's about 532nd inches wide. So it's pretty thin and soft and stretchy. So in the last video, I applied fray check to the end so it wouldn't fray later when it's being washed. In this video, I'm gonna use fire. So this is how you do it. You don't need to burn it for too long. Just just slightly. 
and that's enough to seal the end that's all you need not much at all okay so this way you don't have to wait for the fray check to dry and it's sealed and you won't fray later so we just thread this through this little loop you might need a little bit help with the hair clip I tie slip knot to make it adjustable so to tie slip knot you basically um, have with a short end facing you and you form a letter B like these and this little piece you just um, wrap it around this two line and through the loop and you just tie it. I just tie it once it's enough because this is pretty stretchy okay so the knot and if you want to move it you just grab onto this little end or grab onto the knot and just move it to adjust it so we do On the bottom facing you do a letter B and thread it through and just tie a knot people can decide how long they let they want the elastic so by the way I cut this elastic about eight inches eight and a half inches but you you decide how long you want your elastic to be according to what your material you're using Okay, so let's do this side. Isn't it simple? So this is our version of 3D mask, octagon mask, whichever way you want to call it. And this is how it looks like when it's folded, or when it open. On the top, it looks like this. So on the back, we have a filter pocket opening. You can insert your own filter. Um, it doesn't really matter which side your nose go. It could be this side or this side, but I now like the opening to be toward the chin. So it won't tickle your nose. So this is the simple version of um, 3D mask. Give it a try and let me know if you like it. Thank you. I see you later.